Hi guys, in this episode I'd like to cover the uh, Prussix tie-in, the girth hitch, and the chicken loop. We'll go ahead and kind of cover all these together because they're all very similar um, knots. So uh, the concept and how you utilize them is very similar. Uh, we'll start out kind of with the base knot here, uh, which would actually be the girth hitch. And about the only place we're going to utilize the girth hitch on our team uh, is we do tend to utilize these when tying into the Stokes basket itself. Uh, we'll go ahead and kind of come over here to the Stokes basket rail, okay? And when you're positioning yourself on the Stokes basket, uh, we'll usually take and tie into the Stokes basket with the girth hitch um, by taking uh, the knot itself and poking it through kind of one of these areas on the rail uh, where these little tie-ins are. That'll keep you from sliding up and down the rail too far, okay? Um, what you'll end up doing is poking that through and letting this drop through the back side here, okay? When you pull this, kind of pull it on one side, and you'll create this right here, which is a basic girth hitch. Um, and then we will actually utilize this to tie yourself into the harness, okay? Um, so that is a basic girth hitch right there. Um, it can be created a few different ways by either wrapping it around an object like we just showed. Um, the other way to create an, a simple girth hitch um, would be to actually take a loop like this, invert it over on itself, and just kind of pull it through, okay? And you can create a small girth hitch, um, which can be wrapped around an object and tightened down like this, okay? Um, these are also oftentimes very useful when you uh, have to restrain hands on a combative patient or something along those lines, okay? So very useful um, hitch to know. Okay, so that's the common girth hitch right there. The Prussix tie-in or Prussix knot is going to be a slight variant on that, okay? Um, and what you'll do with the Prussix tie-in is actually take and wrap your Prussix loop around a piece of rope, okay? Um, what we're trying to do here is create a locking mechanism that can be used um, to either ascend the rope or as some type of a safety on the rope, okay? Um, and what you'll notice with this is it's very easy once it's tied to slide it up and down the rope, okay, like so. But if you weight it from the either side at an angle, you'll note that it locks off on the rope because it kind of grips it around the rope. So either direction, you'll see this, this grips the rope and creates a lock, okay. When we're tying this, um, within our team, we've got two different variants of this uh, Prussix tie-in. One of which is going to be for personal use, and one of which is going to be for rescue use. When we're doing this for personal use, we're just going to do two wraps, okay? So to do the wraps, what we'll do is I always start with the knot, and I tuck the knot just underneath the rope once and twice, okay? When I go to tighten this up, I actually only will pull it on one side, okay? So I'm actually trying to pull it offset, because what I want is my knot to end up here in the middle, not out here on the very end, because out here is where I'm going to want to attach a carabiner or some type of device, and I don't want my knot uh, getting in the way. Once you've pulled on this here, you'll actually need to go and clean this up, okay? And the way you'll do that is you'll actually have it to where um, the ropes, when they come into the middle, coil to the outside, and then wrap around. So this would be a two-wrap prussic for personal use or single-person use. If you've got more than one person or a rescue load on uh, a Prussix type system, we'd actually prefer that you do uh, a third wrap with that, okay? So the only real difference with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tie this and start over just so you can see the, the one little change there, is that when you're wrapping your rope, you just do one, okay, two, three wraps, and then once again, we're going to pull it off set so that knot does not end up right in the middle. Okay, we're still going to have to come back here and switch these around so that it coils from the middle out, okay, each one of these, until it appears like that, okay. That would be an appropriate three-wrap Prusik for rescue use. Once again, it's going to lock off very well in either direction, okay, unless it's unloaded, in which case it's very easy to slide up and down the rope. We can use this for ascending, we can use it for uh, locking off safeties, a lot of different options there. Um, it's a lot cheaper option than using uh, commercial ascenders or some of the other devices. Um, the other slight variant I'm going to show you on this same, uh, same girth hitch concept or Prussix knot concept um, is what we call the chicken loop. When we're ascending a rope, we'll actually uh, tie in several of these Prussix and use them alternating to work our way up a rope. 
Okay. Um, oftentimes we'll find it useful to have a very long prussics like this to use as a foot loop. Okay. Um, what we'll often do is do what I call a chicken loop, where you create a small girth hitch at the end of the rope. Okay. So we've got this tied in as a prussics at one end, and we'll create a small girth hitch at the other end, and then actually take and uh, put this on our boot itself. Okay. Um, you can do this a couple different ways. You can either tighten it in just around your boot like this, okay, um, which I find to be a little bit less safe than taking one of these two parts of the girth hitch and taking it around the back of the boot, okay. If you create this type of thing, it's really going to want to lock in that boot, and if your other ascender devices were to fail in any way, um, you would end up being inverted, but at least you would not, you know, fall. Um, in this situation. So you have your, your boot tied in. You can use this um, as a good way of, of you know, assisting you in ascending the rope. And it gives you one extra piece of safety where you're tied into the rope as well. So this would be the chicken loop here. All right?